Alright, fellas, I'm not gonna lie. Brace yourself. If you have your mother in the room, if you have your sister in the room, if you have your brother in the room, let them know that it's about to get real sensual. Hello guys, welcome back to the Balaki channel. My name is Balaki. If you're new over here, uh, I usually have the white glasses that they're called the swag goggles. We've had it on. I'm not joking. We've actually had the swag goggles and the VR headset, which I'm not wearing currently. We have been wearing those for like four years straight, which is actually kind of crazy to think about. No joke. There's some serious built up crust, batty, some fluid, some gamer sauce in there. What I'm saying is that it would fetch a far price on eBay if I was to sell it. Of oh, two shillings. But yeah, hopefully you guys are having a lovely day. Uh, I decided to bring out these goggles because. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. Sweet. I forgot I bought them. I'm not gonna lie. So, in today's video is, um, okay, I'm just gonna get it over and dump. It's a filler video. <laughs> but hold on. There's a reason for that. The next two uploads will be canon. So, it's cool. And I am currently in America right now. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm basically uh, making a bunch of videos, so you have uploads while I'm gone. But yeah, that's besides the point. Today's a video, video uh, there's no reason in this. It's just because I was on my phone the other day, and I kept scrolling through these um, these Reddit story videos with some Minecraft gameplay. It's always Minecraft parkour gameplay, I swear. As well as the green text ones, which are 4chan. Let me read you this one I sent my friend. So this is the original meme. It's like blue down, and it says, the gayest shit you've read. Here's the actual one. Straight. So basically, you're saying straight. It's like a little mini story in the 4chan. Channel. Downloaded Grinder out of curiosity. If you don't know what Grinder is, uh, don't worry about it. 40 messages in 55 minutes. Guys all want pictures of my ass. I finally send one with shorts on. Guy invites me over. I lay down on the bed and get topped. He says he'll be gentle. He's not. Honestly, I already regret it. My ass is sore and I have red handprints. Never fall for the meme, guys. I think you're gay. I don't give a fuck who you is or how you feel about it. I think. Like, is it even a joke at that point, bro? You just got fucked in the ass. Like, how is that? That's called r slash green text. You can probably find it. But if you want me to make a video on that, uh, I know this is crazy since I've just started the video. If this hits 15k likes, uh, then I'll I'll make uh, the, the, the green text one, which is far worse than these Reddit ones. But yeah, uh, we're going to be taking a look at these and, uh, you know, just having a blast. It's a chill, relaxed video. So grab your popcorn, grab your penis. Number six, two hot gay sex facts. Que no sabe decir mote, ya va a poner un baile de modelo de los rojos. Mira, el baile. All right, spectacles on now. Uh, I think I, I think you guys know by now. I just put the glasses on for the intro because I physically cannot see. My vision's not that good. But yeah, let's begin. This one's called Random Reddit Stories. Uh, so it's, it's what I was talking about, but it's just on YouTube, so I don't have to go out of my way. What's the most fucked up thing you have seen? When I was about nine, my friend Jason called to say he was coming over. This was the 80s, so no cell phones. So, the average Reddit user, the 80s, bruv, are you fucking Adolf Hitler? It was taking way too long to get there, I called. His grandma said he just left a little bit ago. So, I waited, he still didn't show. We lived in a dangerous part of town in section 8 and so I started to get nervous again. He was only a block away, why would it take so long? I called grandma again and she was like, well, maybe he saw a friend on the way, check outside. So, I did. I went outside and his body was by the entrance to my building. His coat and shoes were gone. It seems someone m***ed a little boy for his fucking stuff. What? Wait, 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 I have to sense that. What just happened? Okay, I see the comment. Why are they so goddamn violent, man? I thought this was gonna be wholesome. We're going- next one. What is something you have always regretted doing? Here we go, this is what we're here for. When my parents split up, my mom had to raise us by herself and we were really poor. Eventually, we had to get on food stamps to survive. My mom was devastated. She was a very proud woman and was working two okay, jobs, I'm gonna, but it was- I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like- Guys, what is the food stamp thing? Do we have that in the UK? I don't even think we do. Are you talking about like coupons? Is that what is, is that what food stamps are? Coupons? I'm not saying that because I was privileged. Like, don't get me wrong. I was from. I am from the mud. I just don't know what food stamps are. Like a failure who couldn't take care of her own kids. I remember we were in the grocery store and getting ready to pay. She was going to use food stamps to pay, and she was so ashamed that she turned to me and said, "If you don't want to stand in line with me, you don't have to." She was trying to spare me the embarrassment, so I didn't stand with her. I went off and looked at a toy or something. I remember looking back at her, she was sheepishly fixing her hair and trying not to look poor, as she worked up the courage to face the cashier. 
I have regretted walking away so many times over the years. Aww, so awesome. Uh, what was the question again? Because I'm going to answer it. What is something you have always regretted doing? Beating off in the bath. And I mean it, and I don't. Never beat your shmee in the bath, bro. It ain't worth it. It sticks to your back and shit. You basically have to have a shower. I usually do that anyway. Yeah, I usually have a bath and a shower. But, like, if you just have primarily have baths and just get in and get out of the bath, just don't do it. You get kicked out of a Walmart and they say you're banned. How likely are they to remember your face in a few months? My daughter was banned for life from a store. Here's what happened. When daughter was 12 she'd ride the city bus to school. After school, she and her best friend would walk four blocks to the bus station downtown. We told her she had to be home by 5. So she often had about half an hour to walk around downtown before they had to catch the bus. Where is this going? It didn't take long for us to realize that she and her best friend were shoplifting like crazy. They were picking the stores clean. So we made her assemble everything she'd stolen. And then she and I went downtown. She went to every store she'd stolen from, gave the stuff back, and apologized. Most stores didn't know how to react. We got a lot of dumb looks from managers. Uh, thank you, was the only reaction from most stores. But there was a store called Art Mart and when we asked to see the manager, he came out and daughter told him her story. He then, with my permission, made her go downstairs into a damp, dark basement under the store. What? There were leaking pipes. It looked like the kind of place you'd hold a kidnapping victim. The manager chewed her out for a while and said she was banned from the store for life. And if she ever set foot in that store again, they'd call the police and have her arrested for trespassing. Why did he have to take her into Then he sat her in a chair and took a photo of her. The picture went on a large cork board with about 50 other photos, marked wall of shame, while the manager was chewing her out. And I wondered if he was holding back because I was there. What happened to the kids they caught in the act? I looked at that wall of shame and realized I knew a lot of the kids. My daughter's friends, some kids I taught in Sunday school. Apparently a lot of middle schoolers shoplift. A lot of them shoplift at that store, too. The manager took her photo, I don't put like it on the wall of shame going, with a push know. pin, threatened her one last time with jail, and we left. I believe my daughter when she says she never shoplifted anything again. That's, that's creepy. What was that, man? That was extremely creepy. I got banned from a Walmart, went in the next day. How are you guys getting banned from stores, man? I've never been banned from a store in my entire life. And I literally, when I was a kid, I literally tried to rob a store. ...to you as a child that feels like a punch to the gut every time you think about it. I was four years old when my dad married my stepmom. But these are so long. I'm not trying to sit there for a minute. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. As a teenager, what was the worst thing oh, look, your parents... Oh, we got subway surfers. See, this is 30 seconds. This is much how I like it, man. I don't want to sit there for two minutes. I don't care. I don't know why I did it. But I was 14 and kind of curious. It was late. I didn't think anybody was going to come down he my hallway, so I left my door wide open. Oh, God. I knelt down to the ground, stuck my tongue out, placed it on the wall, and proceeded to lick the wall from the bottom to as high as I could go standing up. <laughs> What? I looked to my left and my dad was just standing there with a big ass smile on his face. He yells out to my mom yo, this weird ass kid is licking the wall. <laughs> I still don't understand why I had the urge to do that. That was a weird night. Yeah, like bro, what? What? I'm not gonna lie though, I used to lick walls. And shout out to all the wall lickers out there. Rule number one, never be curious. Never be 14 and curious. Yeah, because I can end up by curious. I'm sorry. I approve of the LG TV. But yeah, the most- What have I been- I, You know what's funny? I've never been caught smacking my meat. I think the most embarrassing thing where, like, my parents walked in on me was, uh, I don't know. I, nothing. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been called by my parents. I'm actually lucky as fuck. What were the worst 10 minutes of your life? 10 minutes. I was 16 and there we were, four boys swimming together. Oh, we were all the same age at what we knew as the bottomless lake. 10 feet offshore you could sink or swim down as far as you wanted until you got scared and thought it was truly bottomless. It was about a quarter mile. Okay, they gotta be why. There's no way, man. Had the bright idea to swim across it. As a test of our bravery, I didn't want to do it. But peer pressure is a hell of a thing for a 16-year-old boy. I had bad feeling and soon I would know why. Two of my friends started out and I followed with my friend. We were probably about 15 to 20 feet apart. My partner- Four minutes. Yo, am I the- I think I've got ADHD. I understand they do it for like watch time, I guess, because I don't know, is there even watch time on fucking- What were the worst told, minutes? Like, but I'm not trying to sit there for that long. Oh, I don't like the music. I don't like the music on this. I was I don't know, my daughter's a drug dealer. I mean, it's just... He might have just killed his daughter. He might have just killed his daughter. Basically, uh, his daughter is addicted to drugs. He took the drugs away and said, uh, you can find happiness in G He might have just killed her daughter. You can die from- You can die from, um, what's it called? Uh, I was so devastated when I came home and found my wife in bed with another man. That I left without saying a word. It wasn't until the day that I finally returned that I noticed the back, the lock on the door was broken. Oh my god, he just watched his... What the fuck? Yesterday I visited my boyfriend who was serving a life sentence in prison. As I watched that arsehole shaking and pissing himself with fear. And he finally regretted beating me to death. These are scary. What was the dumbest thing you did while losing your vinegary that you believed was normal? After I finished, she was on her back and me on top. 
She stretched her arms out above she back. Of her head, which I recognize now she wanted me to grab her arms and kiss her all sexy and dom-like. So instead I gave her a crisp double <laughs> high five, celebratory hands in the air. She looked back at me. No, no way, man! Imagine high five like, let's, we did it! She looked back at me during back shots and I waved. Oh, that one, that one actually embarrassed me. Of course they're on Reddit, it makes sense now. I said they make this look so much easier in the movies to cut the tension, I guess. She gave a little pity giggle so I just kept saying it every time something went wrong. A lot went wrong. She came out as gay like two months <laughs> ago. <laughs> Imagine your stroke game being so goddamn trash that the girl that you was fucking comes out as lesbian later. That is insane to me. That would that would turn me gay. I'm gonna be honest. She looked me straight in my eyes and let out a Perry the Platypus growl. I couldn't help myself and go Perry the Platypus. In my best do- Yeah, well, there's some goofy guys getting laid, man. If these people can get laid and you guys can't, that's crazy. What did your friend do that accidentally turned you on? Wait, okay, I got, I'm gonna hear him out before I go. We were playing Monopoly and she way laying on her side. Hair down and her legs were laying in a way that made her hip to waist ratio Oh, out of it's a world. female. Okay, dog. Okay, I was about to say- I still kicked her ass though. Real men don't get distracted when playing Monopoly. We, Real 18 shit. meters and 18F, were at dinner with a bunch of his castmates, really sweet people and we wound up sitting together. We'd been best friends since we were 13. Okay. He accidentally brushed his hand against my thigh and it literally sent chills down everywhere. I think he noticed his effect on me. We are together now and go to uni together. We were okay. joking and she turned back, grabbed my neck and lightly strangled me. What? Oh, these are some kinky ass- What's the weirdest sexual experience you've ever had? Okay, some of these stories are wild and I can't compete. But one guy asked me to dress up as Waldo from Where's Waldo? I threw together a Waldo cosplay, what? super easy to do, and he seemed happy enough. So I, a petite woman, oh, well, that was not needed. complete with glasses and cane, showed up for sexy times whereupon he had me wander around his apartment losing various parts of the cosplay until just my sweater was on. Then he, with zero other foreplay, bent me over the bed and began to do his thing while occasionally saying I found you, bitch in a weirdly aggressive <laughs> I swear on my life every bit of this is true. Okay, but you still let him hit. So at the end of the day, you you dressed up as Waldo for a guy and got your cheeks plowed. Straight males of Reddit. What's the gayest thing you've ever there done? There we go. This is the shit. I'm gonna, I can relate to this too. Wait. Me and the boys once took turns taking a 10 minute ice bath at a hotel, then measuring who had the smallest peen by the end of their ice bath. <laughs> the smallest person won. Pretended to be my friend. Yeah, that's gay. Actually, it's, you know, see, I'm a connoisseur on this. Even though I've never actually, like, all jokes aside, I haven't done anything gay with the homies. Maybe grabbing some ass, holding hands, or like saying I'm gonna kiss you to the homies. Like, that's about the gayest thing I've done. His boyfriend to prevent him from being hit on from this guy he didn't want to hit on him. We put our arms around each other and I kissed him on the temple lol. I once owned a Mustang with a V6 instead of the V8. <laughs> when I was a teenager me and my five friends were alone in the dorms while everyone else went on break. My four friends decided that it would be fun to have a masturbation contest. See, this is what, I know it's really common in college dorms. Why do y'all be beating off with each other? It's super gay. See who can come the fastest. Bro. I said hell nah, and became the officiator. They all went to separate corners of the room and readied the porn in their phones. When I shout go, they start jerking off simultaneously and the losers have to pay the winner's dinner. Oh, dog. Oh, no. Alright, we got, we got enough time for one more because these are so long for no reason. I don't know why they're so long. NSFW, what's the horniest thing you've ever done? I can answer this, you know. I can answer this. Like, no dreamy bullshit, but shout out to Love Honey. I'd be getting sent toys and I'd, they'd be getting put to use. Let's go. Weezy eye. Pre-internet, I spent four hours drawing a naked woman, pixel by pixel, poorly, in MS Paint to jerk off to. <laughs> okay. High school one time, I jerked off 11 times in one day. Oh. Okay, okay, I didn't say that. The most time I beat off in a day, like, 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 beat my meat. I'm not gonna hold it to you, like, free. After that, I start getting ball cramps, man. My duck was in so much pain, and I couldn't move for a day or so. No, real talk, yeah, when you do it over five times, like, like, even like even then it starts to hurt like it's not even enjoyable anymore it starts to hurt and then it gets liquidy and it doesn't like it's not as enjoyable bro you know what bros i'm um, did i just say bros i'm a pupa i'm like um, let me know if you guys want another one uh and if you do please send me some via my instagram just send me like a video or some tiktoks that you think i would like or tag me you can tag me on tiktok because i i use the app but yeah that's the end of the video I'm using this mic, so I could deep flow it. Uh, that was, that was the Reddit video. Let me know what you guys think was the worst one or the, the gayest, because let's be real, the ones that really shocked us was the gay one. But yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be soon, so yeah. Bye. Wait, how can I forget? Grab your balls, twist them, and if you're a woman, grab your...
button, it's the new button, it's the button matrix. Shut up man, go away.